Hello folks, I'm Surveying Glory and this is part 3 of my Empire campaign in Total War Warhammer. There were 7 turns in and so far we've managed to reclaim Grinberg, Helmgart and Eilhart from the rebel secessionists and we fought and won our first quest battle. Our army is now recuperating uh, and at the moment there's nothing we can do in terms of building or diplomacy so just going to move on straight to turn 8. My plan is to try to take Marienburg next um, give us some quite a bit of income from this settlement and then look towards Bretonia, the Skull Smashers up here. We're at war with the Skull Smashers and to Horde factions, uh, the Beast Men and the Skull Takers I think. Um, the Skull Takers have just been wiped out so that's one we don't need to worry about. The Beast Men will probably come in from this sort of route at some point in the not too distant future and Skull Smashers seem to be just building up their forces. They did ha make a brief appearance earlier but don't to seem to have done anything. So what I'm going to do actually I want to build or to recruit an extra couple of units. So yeah. Pistoliers I think will be useful. So we'll recruit them and then we'll move out towards Marienburg in the next turn probably. We are able to upgrade a settlement so I'm going to upgrade Helmgart so that we can build the, the rally fields here. Give us access to some better units and open up some tech I think. Yep. And that is us for this turn. So let's move on. So Marienburg moved its army across. They've got another settlement over here. So it seems to be cycling backwards and forwards. We wouldn't be able to assault Marienburg, we would have to besiege it. So even if the army moves out, um, there's not really too much we can do. Uh, so it would mean trying to defeat Marienburg in the field. So that is something that we we'll give some consideration to. So I'll move the army up towards the border now. just to prepare for that. I wonder if we could trespass through their territory. They're already unhappy with us uh, and attack the Skull Smashers. That might be another option. Uh, we've got some population surplus. So we will upgrade Eilhart just in case it suddenly becomes on the war border. I'll have a quick look at diplomacy. I haven't checked this for a couple of turns, but I doubt there's been any positive changes. Uh, Bretonia, interested in a trade agreement? Nope. And there's nothing much else that looks likely. Greetings, Umgi. How about an aggression pact? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's leave it at that then. So. I hold oh well. You may uh, bow. Declaration of War. Yes. Okay. Uh, so Hochland is somewhere over here. I don't think we have access to them. Be at war with the faction Karaknor and they couldn't have picked Middenland or Marienburg. Um, I don't want to be at war with the dwarfs. Karaknorn. Uh, and Karaknorn is too far anyway, so they can stick that objective. 
Yeah, so I don't think we've got military access to get to Hochland. Talabic land and mid well, midden land we certainly don't. Uh, Talabic land again we don't. Do they like us? Oh, deteriorating. I wonder if they would be interested in joining our war. It is good to see fellow sons of Trying the war against Hochland. No. Not without a payment, probably. Would they give us military access? No. Okay, the Midland Lands, they don't like us very much at all. So they're unlikely to be interested in any of those. Of Empire. Now what brings you here with a sheath blade? No. Well, let's ignore that for the moment. Marienburg now has two armies here. The nation calls. By Sigma. Okay. The Empire. I don't think we can defeat both. So let's just encamp where we are and see if we can I am Prince and get Emperor. more favourable conditions Hi. for attacking. Um, we can possibly build in Greenberg. Yep, let's upgrade. We'll move on again. Okay, so we haven't been invaded, but Ostland has joined the war against us. Green Death. So we now have a mission, 8 turns, to defeat Ornlory's army, and we get plus 12 to leadership. So let's look, can we reach? Ready. Uh, potentially, but then they have another army in the garrison in there. That will come to his aid. So that's not a viable option right now. Marienburg still have both armies there. So... Let's just continue to hold our position here. I see no other option. And... Wait for a favourable opportunity. Uh, do we have any building available? Yeah, so we do. We can now, now if we upgrade our port, so I guess it's an extra 200 income. And an extra 10 growth plus technologies. What technologies does it give us? Port. Imperial Harbour. Okay. We could upgrade, but no point, it doesn't give us any units, we need additional buildings for that. What else do we have? We could build the gunsmith. That would then allow us to recruit outriders if we build the stable. And this is something I want to build in this province. So, but it's expensive. What are the other options? Hundred income. Growth and replenishment or 250 income. Now let's actually, what I need to do 
is yep, build this guard house. We still have some money available. We could also upgrade this to the rally field. So I think we will do that. And keep the rest of our cash for future turns. I'd like to keep an eye on what happens up here. Uh, the beastmen have arrived. Okay, Gizaru has been sacked. Okay, we have a stranger from Albion. 2000, Chaos Corruption goes up before for a few turns. Money would be good. Chaos Corruption isn't a particular problem at the moment, so I'm going to be greedy. Take some cash. And Middenburg has its second army well on the way now. It's not going to get any easier for us. But the more immediate threat is down here. So if we force march, we can get we can get into Helmgart. Let's see, Helmgart. It doesn't have enough of a a garrison really to hold off both of those units. Uh, uh, so yeah, let's just bring our army down. Garrison the town, and I that should see them you. move off to an easier target. Okay. So there's still no sign of any attack from our enemies in Nordland. Ostland. Lost vision on what's happening up there. But let's bring this army the down here to block them off again. Try and encourage them to go and bug somebody else. And I would like to start building a second army, but we don't have the, the income to sustain it as things stand. Now we could upgrade. An extra 20 income. Uh, I don't think we'll be doing that. How about our fields? No, that's growth and replenishment. How about our cattle pastures to cow pens? Again, it's growth and replenishment. We've enough money to upgrade to the Imperial Harbour gives an extra couple of hundred income technologies and growth so let's choose that and leadership or movement speed I think we'll take leadership public order Yep, we've got the corruption, but we need to leave that on public order for the moment. And do we want to build anything else? What could we build here? Let's have a look. I'll heart now. Yep, I think I'm actually going to build the uh, guardhouse in both of these provinces while we have the money. Still have some money available in Altdorf. But I don't think I want to, to build anything here. Right now, anyway. Uh, so let's move on from now. So 
the beastmen haven't attacked. Imagine they've wandered off. Still no sign of any enemy armies. So yep. The beastmen are now up there. Bring me to my men. We can't reach them. So I think we'll pull back in towards the centre of our province. Pick up the pace. And just be ready to react in case they do come in from some other direction. Do we have Stirling to Talibic land? What, what, what opportunities does that give us? So those two are at war. If I offer to join the war against Stirland and I attack Stirland, Talibic land could then attack Hochland. So let's find Talibic land. Initiate diplomacy. Good to see fellow sons of the Empire oh, hang on. this day. Hang on. Let's look how about defensive alliance? And Join war against Stirland. How about that? Low. Okay. Let's just concentrate on the defensive alliance then. Okay. How about joining wars? How about then if I just offered to join the war against Stirland? Nope. Okay. Well, let's just leave it a turn and then we could just declare war against Stirland. Okay, let's uh, again have a quick look at building. What could we do? Again, there's nothing really at the moment that looks that appealing. No. I would like to get this, but that's too expensive. We have surplus. Should I increase the size of one of the settlements? Yep, yeah, let's. Yep, yeah, let's upgrade Reichland. And move on. So, feeling a bit hemmed in. Um, targets I would like to attack are too strong. Enemies that we have are too far away. Confederation of the Dwarves. Templehof's been destroyed. We're now at war with Nordland also. That's fine. Okay. Um, our wizard has gained a rank. So we'll have Melkoth's Mystifying Miasma. I'm not going to build anything this turn. The threat from the beastmen seems to have disappeared.
let's try again to get it's some sort of defensive alliance. How about you give me military access and I will join the war against Sterland. No, okay. Well, how about I just join the war against Sterland? Still inter not interested in that. Fellow sons of the Empire, this day. And I'll do that if you give me a payment of nine hundred. No. Okay. Not interested in help. Let's send our wizard uh, up to the border. I am France. They will obey. Shadow Swift. I suppose we can deploy him. Give us a bit of help for the moment. Uh, I want to send him up to get eyes on Marienburg. Don't have much money, so I'm not going to build. Uh, so I guess that's us for this turn. Capture not my settlement belonging to the enemies of Marienburg. So Artois are up there. They're at peace with Bretonia. Again, I don't really see the point in that objective for me. Relations with Marienburg are improving. So I suppose they could potentially become an ally. So if that's the case, then I think I do want to come down and focus on Stirland. I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, okay, so let's what do you seek? recall our hero, get him back in, or our, yeah, our hero back into the army, and we'll then move our army down here and try to once again offer support to Talabek land. I don't want to build anything just now, so again, let's move on. Greetings from Sigma. So why do you want military access? wouldn't really be of any benefit to us. So, no. Mm, no, no, I don't think so. I don't see them being any real benefit to us. What's the relationship like? The relationship is improving. I suppose if we could try and get them on side. Let's accept then. Accept their offer. Treat 
Great gained merchant councillor gives us extra ten percent income from all buildings. Ostermark Rebels. Diplomatic relations down minus twenty. Alright. Well let's bring our army down to the border here. That might be our target there. And let's see, Visenland. Welcome, my countrymen. How about. Oh, let's try joining the Confederation. Okay. How about then just a defensive alliance? Fine, we'll try again later. Yep, so if this army stays in the vicinity, then we'll go and try and assault them. Relations with Marienburg still improving. What can we build? Yep. Yeah. Altdorf. I still don't have the money for this. Public order is now at zero. Okay. Well, so we're running up on time. I think I'm going to put a cut in here and we'll pick this up again in the next part. Sorry there's no battles in this. Hope you enjoyed it anyway and hope to see you again for part four. Cheers.